everybody. It is currently 6.30 in the morning <laughs> and I am picking up my brother from work and I usually, uh, I normally don't pick him up from work or drop him off. Um, he works nights now. I'm going to put my glasses on because it's sunny. Um, and, um, and the reason for that is because yesterday, which was, I think, November 15th, I want to say, or 16th, that Saturday, whatever date that is, uh, around like 2, she fell, she like tripped down the stairs. We have stairs in our house, and um, we um, have like a landing and then some more stairs. And so what she did was she, which she's been like tripping over them for like a week now because she goes sideways down the stair. She doesn't go like straight, you know, like head first down the stair. She walks like sideways, overstepped or whatever and um, like rolled her foot and got stuck between my dresser, which is on the landing, and the stair. So I had to pull her from the stairs and um, her left foot just like puffed up immediately and I, it didn't look right. And I'm no doctor, but um, I can tell you that it didn't look right. <laughs> so, um, so I took her to the ER. They put a splint on it and then the doctor came and said that it's like, not like broken, broken, like the bone's not like cut in half. But what happened was that a little piece of bone like chipped off. I mean, she's she's older, so every little fall is gonna do a little damage. Um, she's 61, so um, things just aren't moving and, you know, as resilient as they were, you know, in her 30s. The ER doctor um, said to uh, go to a orthopedic doctor to, um, you know, check out her ligaments because he wasn't sure like if her ligament was torn or something. He said something about that. So um, tomorrow, which is Monday, um, we have to see if she can get into a um, orthopedic doctor. I'm not sure if they're gonna cast it. To me, it doesn't seem like it needs to be cast because like I said, it's not broken. Like the bone isn't like split in half. It's not like a big fracture. It's just a little like chip of the like part of your bone came off. So um, you can't really, you know, put a cast for that because I think your body absorbs it, if I'm not mistaken. When she breaks anything, she broke her arm years ago, um, I'm, you know, I take over. I do the laundry, I do the dishes, I chauffeur people around. Um, I'm picking up my brother and dropping him off. I normally don't do that. So um, I'm basically, basically doing what she usually does. So, um... So yeah, it's a little different. Um, I'm exhausted. Um, I would rather her break arms than legs because, <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but the reason for that is because she is clumsy with just two feet. So with one, she is even crazier. Trying to get her to, trying to get her inside the house with crutches was just horrible. She was like falling on me. I was trying to pick her up. I'm only 5'2 and she's 5'8 and she's like, a oh, hundred something pounds so it's a little difficult to pick her up so I'm hoping that orthopedic can like put her in a boot or something that way she can at least walk because right now she can like barely walk so I don't think she's going to work um, my brother broke his femur years ago this whole family is accident prone <laughs> as you can tell I have not broken anything but I haven't broken anything so knock on something but um he broke his femur years ago and um he used a walker and we still kept that so she's using the walker to get around the house she can't walk around in crutches that that is just going to be disaster she makes me nervous when she is on that uh, just getting up the stairs to go in the house from the garage i was a nervous wreck um, so I don't trust her with that 
because I could see her falling again and breaking something else and I just don't need that. So um, I always joke with her that um, I'm going to send you into a house. <laughs> I'm going to send you to a house to a retirement house because I can't deal with you. But I'm just joking and she knows I'm joking because I know and she knows that I will be the one to take care of her when she gets older and can't live by herself. I always joke with her that I'm gonna put her into a home and yesterday she was like getting sick and like vomiting and I don't deal with vomit. I can't deal with like people gagging there was a lady in the er who was like throwing up and oh, i just couldn't deal with that i hate throwing up as it is so i cannot um hear other people do it because i hate doing it myself i hate hearing myself good thing i don't get sick very often because i hate um the vomit um sickness i can deal with pee and poo and and blood i just can't deal with vomit so um, that's when I said, uh, I'm taking you to a home because I cannot deal with you. <laughs> she knows I'm joking and so, um, uh, yes, I will probably be the one to take care of her, right? As I said, she's 61 years old. She had, she had all her kids late. She had all her kids in her kind of late 30s. She had my sister at like 33. Yeah, I think it was 33 or 34. Um, and then she had me at 36 and then she had my brother at 41. She just turned 41 um, when she had him because they're um, both their birthdays are in June. Hers is in the earlier month and um, she had him um, late uh, June. So, so she's 61 already and <laughs> it's, it's getting a little crazy because she, um, she's getting older and she's not so stable as she used to be and like I said she's she trips on everything and she trips down the stairs and she tripped down that same flight of stairs uh, like a few days ago and she caught herself so uh, yeah anyway and you know some some sometimes I don't know if it's just old age or if things are being turning into something different but, um, like she'll say something to me and I will say, you already told me that. <laughs> I don't know if it's that old age or if it's something progressive. I don't know. I hope it's just old age because there's a lot of times where she tells me something. And I, I guess I'm the same way too when it comes to, cause she tells, she tells everybody her problems and it's like, she can't keep, keep track of who she told, who she didn't tell. But there are many times where I'm like, uh, you already told me that. <laughs> you told me that before. And uh, she's like, oh, okay. And then she'll tell, she'll say, she'll briefly tell me again. So, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm sitting in the parking lot of Walmart waiting for my brother. Oh, life is just crazy. So I'll let you all go. See you later. Bye.